Hello and welcome to this Friday edition of Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jeet Lail in Singapore. We start with Japan where key economic data out this morning will give an insight into the health of the world's third largest economy. Along with consumer price growth, employment and industrial production, we'll also find out whether households are still spending money. Personal consumption accounts for almost two-thirds of the economy, but on Thursday, the latest retail sales figures showed that demand at home might be slowing. And as the BBC's Mariko Oi reports, slowing domestic demand is prompting many businesses to seek opportunities outside Japan. Noodles and the heat of competition. Six Japanese ramen chefs are in Singapore to compete in a contest to open a restaurant here. Masaki Yorozuya, with his signature miso ramen, has flown all the way from Sapporo in the northern island of Japan. His recipe has won him an award three times already. But Japan's economy is nowhere near winning a prize. And that's why he's been looking for opportunities elsewhere. Japan's economy isn't doing too well. So instead of opening stores in other parts of Japan, I thought I'd take this opportunity to look to Asia. Just like a bowl of ramen, Japan's problems are made of many small ingredients. For more than a decade, the economy has barely grown. Domestic demand has been weak, and the government has a huge debt. And to make things harder for exporters, the nation's currency has been strengthening as investors shift their money out of the U.S. and Europe. And it's not just ramen restaurants that are expanding overseas. Compared to Japan, where its population and economy are shrinking, countries like Singapore offer a much better opportunity. And for manufacturers, shifting their operations outside Japan also helps to cut costs. According to a recent survey by the government, almost half of big manufacturers would consider moving production overseas if the yen remains as high as now for six months. I think you're trying to do two things with a strong yen. First of all, you're trying to maintain your competitiveness, so you need to move your production offshore so that it's cheaper. And the second thing you can do is you can take advantage of the strong yen to acquire assets overseas and foreign direct investment flows this year are going to be the strongest since the uh, pre-Lehman days. So it seems the companies are really getting that message this is a great time to be moving offshore. No matter where they go, Japanese brands are usually very easy to spot. The state of Japan's economy and the strength of the yen are unlikely to change anytime soon. So whether they're big manufacturers or small noodle shops, Overseas customers will have to get used to seeing more Japanese names in coming years. Marie Koi, BBC News, Singapore. Well, the news from Japan is expected to influence stock markets when they open later today. Market sentiment is expected to be buoyant after Germany's parliament approved new powers for the Eurozone's crisis fund with a large majority. And this may help alleviate fears that demand for Asian exports to Europe may be hurt. Uh, overnight as well, we saw Wall Street uh, seeing fairly choppy trade as investors digested better U.S. data. Well, let's get more 